Hello everyone, I'm Martin Brisson, welcome. So today I want to talk about um, how to deal with somebody close to you as a chronic health issues, a chronic condition, it could be a partner, it could be another family members, and we get caught up with the situation. We can't feel the heavy weight on it. Uh, of it uh, on, on our shoulders and we get caught up and we get overwhelmed and we get all the first future thinking oh what if what if what if oh, oh my god my life is over because now I have to take care of that person and all those kind of things that happens in our mind and it's normal no we're human beings we're thinking machine so those thoughts are going to come up uh, once in a while because our mind goes up and down all the time so what to do? First of all, listen. Because the other person might just need a friendly ear. They might just need to, to vent. <laughs> and all you have to do is listen. But really listen. Not listening uh, and with pity, oh, poor you, or, uh, oh, I heard about so-and-so in his situation or her situation is way worse. So just wait until you hear what happened or <laughs> whatever. So with no pity and no uh, commiseration, all those kind of things, but just listen. That person might just need to end that day. That's all there is to it. And you don't need to be a fixer either. Okay, let's Google and what's the let's brainstorm to a, a, a solution and all those kind of things. You don't have to be a fixer either because whatever will come up in your mind will be from a <laughs> shaking ball <laughs> uh, state of mind. So you don't have to be a fixer because that drains a little bit more of your energy. You Again, you put some, some more weight on your shoulders trying to fix the problem. Because, you know, whatever we're feeling at the moment, we're not feeling the situation. We're feeling or thinking about the situation. I don't want to be dismissive, but it's exactly what's happening. And we're no, like I said, we're no human beings. We're going to be caught up once in a while and, and feel whatever we're, we're thinking at the moment. But when we know that whatever we're feeling is temporary, like I said, in the day we go up and down all the time. So one, sometimes we have a, a shit storm of thought <laughs> and we feel overwhelmed by it and then the next minute we realize that oh that overwhelmed feeling that's what it is and we can come back in the present moment and when we know that that that's what's happening it helps us to have more calm because we're all resilience. Human beings are resilience. That's why we survived thousands of years. Now, if we were not resilience, now there would be no human beings left uh, in this world. So we are resilient. And when we know, even when we cut up in our thinking, when we know that that wisdom is still there inside of us, that we're in a temporary storm at the moment, we don't take our thinking as seriously and we can be more calm. And as we're more calm, we have access to a deeper wisdom that might tell us something. Oh, I need to phone that person. Oh, I need to do this and that. Oh, maybe I could find to see, find, figure out that resource. Those thoughts we may not come in mind when we're just <laughs> totally caught up in our mind and also our calm has an impact on the other person because when you're just ah and then the other person is ah and then everybody's 
<laughs> totally lost in their thoughts. It doesn't help. But your own calm, your own certainty has an impact on the other person as well. They will feel it. They will feel your calm. They will feel your certainty. And it will have an impact on their well-being as well. And on top of that, remember to take care of yourself. Now, remember in the airplane, they will say, put your own oxygen mask first. But it's important here, whatever, what it is for you to take some time off. I remember a few years ago, I had this lady, a, a lady whose husband had dementia. He was still at home. For Short moments, no, she was feeling overwhelmed because, oh my God, my life is over. I have to take care of him. <laughs> Those kind of things, no, she was healthy. She had big plans for her retirement. And and then she took take care of herself. For her, it was going to see opera and stuff like that. So she managed to find resources and she could still have fun and do other things and recharging her own battery so she could be there for her husband. So taking care of you is a good thing. The person who asked the, person, uh, the, the question, I know you, you do Reiki, and you know in Reiki, we don't put our own energy on the person. We channel the energy onto the other person. So that's why your own calm has an impact on the other person and recharging your own battery is important. Could just be a five minute walk, whatever it is for you, right? But take care of yourself as well. Because you know that calm, that resilience that we have, that we all have, we cannot run out of. So when you're calm, and you don't get caught up in your uh, in the overwhelmed uh, thinking loop. It brings more, like I said, more calm, more solutions, more compassion. And that's something that you cannot run out of. It's always there inside every, every human being. So that's pretty much what I have to tell you today. I hope it was useful. And if somebody else finds it uh, useful, you can uh, share to somebody who needs to hear that uh, today. And um, that's it for me. Catch you next time. Cheers. <laughs>